Simona Halep, one of my favorite WTA player, who is now facing serious allegation of a second anti-doping violation. But since this channel only focus on training aspect of a player and not BS politics, you only need to watch and apply and trust the process. Anyways, let's set the ball rolling. The 21 year old Romanian tennis sensation has been silently and diligently working her way back into the spotlight, using her time away from the court to refine her strength, stamina, and determination. The anticipation of Simona's Halep return to the tennis court is palpable. A hushed buzz resonates within the tennis community as fans eagerly wait her way a comeback. I also do. The reason behind her de dedication to strength workers during this tumultuous uh, period are um, multifold and reveal her uh, unwavering commitment to the sport that she loves. Um, in a world where public figures often hide away during challenging times, Simona Help has chosen a different path. She has um, time and again given her fans a glimpse into her training routine through her social media channels. These snippets or spinets not only showcase a rigorous training but also provide a window not into her indomitable uh, um, spirit and passion of her tennis career. Her posts exclude the ethos of dedication, dedicated athlete who was unafraid of a hard work that lies ahead. At the heart of Halep's training regimen lies a clear purpose to become stronger, fitter, faster, and better. Or to say the least, she's coming for eager, the number one spot. So this objective is not merely a superficial goal, but a reflection of her deep understanding of what it takes to succeed in a professional sport. The modern tennis is demanding, requiring athletes to possess a unique blend of endurance, explosive power, and impeccable technique. To achieve this, Halep strength workers have been meticulously designed to target key areas of a body that directly influence her on court performance. So, on crucial aspect of training is the focus of shoulder and knee stability. The repetitive motion of tennis from serving to ground strokes play immense strain to these joints. By incorporating exercises that enhance stability and flexibility, she aims to reduce the risk of injury and extend her playing career. Additionally, her co-workers are not just about ethics. A strong core is the foundation of every movement she takes on the court, from pivoting during volley to generating power during serves. The hip, the hip sorry, often called the power horse of the body or other area that helps help Halep prioritize. Hip workers are integral in, for in, in improving in agility, explosiveness, enabling her to swiftly challenge change direction and chest down shots across the court. With these workers, she's building the physical attributes that can give a competitive edge and tight matches. In tight matches. Uh, the directive of worker routine is evident in the inclusion of cable rows with direct, different variation. This exercise target multiple muscle group simultaneously contributed to overall body strength. One of the of the striking aspect of Halep training approach is her emphasis on full body strength. While tennis might seem like a sport that predominantly relies on arms and legs strength, a well-rounded physique is a vital optimal performance. Halep training encompasses different from leg and shoulder training, strengthening, access to high intensity intervals. This comprehensive approach ensures that no aspect of a physicality is neglected. You know sometimes, crazily or wrongly, I used to try to compare Simone's legs with the late Diego Maradona. 
she has those first feet. No, don't tell me that it's a bit odd. Yeah, mate. Um, okay then. At just five, six feet, Simona Help stands tall in the wall of women terrace. The pride of Romare. She might not only not, not she not, she might not be the tallest player on the WTA tour, but what she she lacks in height, she is, has more than makes up for the a remarkable footwork, unwavering conditioning, and light, quick agility. It's not a secret that her game revolves, revolves around her exceptional ability to move around uh, the court with finesse precision. And sh this is why she dedicates herself to rigorous footwork training drills. Which, when you think about tennis, just think. Power and reach often comes to mind. The ability to fire aces and thunderous ground stocks is indeed impressive. But there is another aspect of the game that equally, that's equally, it's more, it's not more crucial movement. In tennis, movement isn't just about running from one end to the, to the other, to the, of the court to the other. It's about footwork efficiency, agility, coordination, and explosive, explosive first step. This is where Frau Halep shines. She recognized that her, her height might not, not, on, not allow her, her to rely solely on power. So she, she has honed her skill to become master of movement. Footwork, it in particular, is the cornerstone of her game. She has learned to agile across the court like a dancer, always in a perfect position to unleash her shots in, with precision. Now, the Signora Halep's forehand technique. If you have ever watched her play, you have probably noticed that she employs a semi-western forehand grip, which contributes significantly to her playing style. One fascinating thing about her forehand is her wrist position. She manages to keep her wrist stable and fully laid back. When the form is extended, forming an angle of approximately 90 degrees, this wrist position is crucial for generating power and control in her shots. It's interesting to observe that her wrist stability occurs during the forward swing and is maintained until the moment of contact. As she starts her forward swing, Halep drops the racket slightly on the edge, ensuring her wrist is in is an unstable is an in a stable position from that from the get go. This setup is vital as it prepares her for the short execution. A notable detail her in the racket's alignment is nearly identical to how it will be positioned when making contact with the ball. This alignment is a critical component of a technique, allowing her for a smooth transfer of energy from her body. To the ball. It's also worth noting that her wrist stability and racket alignment seem to be a part of her overall strategy, especially, especially sorry, in terms of control. When analyzing her technique in a slow motion, you will notice that uh, before she, take, she makes contact with the ball, her wrist is already stable and the racket face is correctly aligned. This speaks volume about her precision and ability to consistently push shots where she, she intends. Now, let's discuss the, the concept of dropping the racket on the edge. This particular technique might uh, sacrifice a bit power and compared to other methods, but the trade-off is more than justified in her case. By utilizing the approach, she gains remarkable level of control and increases her gain of error. This means she can consistently place the ball accurately, keep her opponent off their toes and off balance. And now we need to talk about her backhand. When you watch her in action, her backhand immediately catches your eye for all the right reason. It's like a well practiced dance on the court. Her backhand stroke somehow blows my mind. It's easy, smooth, and has this remarkable shoulder turn that's hard to miss. What's interesting is how her shoulder turns becomes even more pronounced due to her traditional semi-close stance. This stance not only adds to 
the elegance of her shot, but also plays a virtual, a virtual role in her consistency. With this stance, she is able to hit fall through the ball in a straight line, resulting in a solid, accurate shot. And speaking of accuracy, Halep's backhand benefits greatly from her unique, rhythmical uh, movement. This is where split-second timing shines. As soon as she plants her rear foot, you can see her entire body moving in a sink from the initial setup to the final follow-through. This rhythmic motion that helps her maintain balance and control of her shots, giving her an edge of her openness like me. So, one remarkable thing about her backhand is the top spin she generates. In a, in a landscape where women tennis is often dominated by powerful shots, uh, Halep's ability to pronounce, to produce, sorry, significant top spin stands out. This top spin is a huge um, advantage on all surfaces, especially on clay where she's better, where it can e really make difference. Her backhand, reminiscent of Novak Djokovic, is a force to be reckoned with. She has a confidence and skill to escort down the line backhand with both power and precision. I feared that showcase her power prowess. However, even with all this strength, there's a tactical aspect that Simon could work on to elevate her game further. One notable backhand flaw is the asshole, is the lack of slicing. While her topspin shots are fantastic, there are moments where well-timed slice could do wonders. Then. I mean now, let's wrap up this video by talking about um, her self, shall we? It's, quite, it's been quite the journey for her, and I must say, her self is definitely on the rise. And, it's, and it has, uh, it has to be considering, considering the com com uh, competition she has put, uh, she has up against, sorry. Uh, the likes of uh, Serena Williams, Maria Sharapova. Victoria Zerenka, and many others. These are some of the elite women tennis and powerful serve is almost like secret weapon in their arsenal. So Simona's trophy position is like a work of art. I tell you, this Dimona, uh, this is the word of a madam in Romania. She's, she's no, she knows how to set herself up for success. You see, she got this perfect stance. And it's like a, a spring waiting to be released. Her weight shifts forward. Her weight shift uh, shifts forward as she steps up behind um behind the bezel and then smoothly rocks back onto her back foot. This little move uh, right gives her the extra of that momentum that she needs. And just when you think it can get any better. She brings both feet together and launches into a serving motion. It's like watching symphony in action. But also, she has, she has the rhythm and she's not afraid to use it. Uh, she times her moves like a dancer hitting all the right bits. This way, she reaches that trophy position just at the right moment, you know, the perfect time. When, she, when her muscles are coiled up like spring, ready to explode into action as soon as the ball comes her way. Now, um, let's talk about the ball toss. It's a thing of beauty, really. Consistency, consistency is, the same of, uh, is the name of a game. A, a toss is like a metronome, never, wav never wavering, never giving away her intentions. This makes it incredible hard for open to read herself. But that that's not all. She's smart, you know, about her about where she places the toss. It's not about just a random lob. It's a strategically positioned in front of her and high enough. This lets her get the entire body under the ball before she makes contact uh, and lets and let, you, and let me tell you, that's where the magic happens, you know. Um, and we can't forget about the full unit turn she pulls off. 
it's like watching a slingshot being drawn back from it releases its play load. She practically turns her back to the court and then this in a split second she uncoils herself like spring. That's when that's that's been wound up tight. The, res, the results in seven racket head speed that send the ball flying over the net over the net with power and spin.